Maybe it. All right, parents, guardians, friends, and community members, welcome to the 2022 Senior Awards Night Ceremony. Before we begin, I wanted to make sure that uh, you had an opportunity to see our jazz band and the unbelievable job that they did out front for us today. This is a day off for them. They could be doing other things, but they decided to join us, and I wanted to make sure that they got the respect that they deserve. So thank you. All, all under the leadership of Mr. Chris Gazinski. Um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. My name is Dennis Williams. I'm the principal here at Happer Horsham High School. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'd ask that we begin this program as we do every other program here at the high school um, by recognizing this amazing nation. I'd ask that you please join us as we stand for the singing of the national anthem. The national anthem will be performed by senior members of our choir 
under the leadership of Ms. Lexi Holtzman. Thank you, Ms. Holzman, and the senior members of our choir. Welcome to our annual awards night ceremony. This is a very special night on the calendar for us here at the high school. It's another opportunity to recognize some very special students who have made an impact during their time here on campus. It's an exciting night as the building principal and as an administrative team to have the chance to reward four years of student achievement and dedicated service. Seniors and families, you're here by invitation only. And the reason you're here tonight is that you've left, your children have left a memorable impression both in and outside of these school walls. I'm biased, and I say this every year, although a school district consists of the elementary level and the secondary level and contains multiple school buildings, the high school is often the flagship of any district. The high school receives much of the media attention, sometimes much of the criticism, because of the public nature of what we do and what we offer. The mere size of a building like HH and the reputation that we carry often puts us in the public eye. However, any successes that we experience as a high school are due to the work ethic of the people within the building and the local community that supports us. You'll see that love this evening. This evening ceremony is a testament to the support of a community and a multitude of students will benefit firsthand, many of them financially, from that commitment. Before we get too far into the evening, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all of the individuals who helped make this evening possible. Our custodial staff, Ms. Litchko, back here in the sound booth, thank you very much. Ms. Weiss, Ms. Andrelevich, Ms. Romali, Ms. Schmidt, Ms. Verano, Ms. Williams, I'd also like to thank the HHTV crew who is here streaming this event live. Finally, my administrative team who will assist this evening in presenting awards, Mr. Zuck, Mr. James, Ms. Berman, Ms. Whalen, who is also the senior class principal. And I don't want to forget Mr. Rapino. He's here in the audience, and he's a father today and not an administrator. To all of our guests, it's our hope that you enjoy this evening's event. It's always our goal to conduct events like this with dignity and class. So I'd ask that at this time that you please put your phone on either airplane mode or vibrate. That's for our students too. To our students, when your name is announced, you'll use the stairs to my left, closest to the music wing. Once you receive your recognition, you can return to your seat using those same stairs. Students here this evening have been identified as those who stand out from the rest of the senior class. The awards they will receive this evening are tokens of appreciation from a grateful community for their accomplishments academically, athletically, socially, which all help to make this high school and this community a much better place. 
These awards are a combination of building level, local, and regional recognition and be presented by the members of our community who you see sitting on stage here this evening. I'd ask that you please join these individuals or join me in giving these individuals a round of applause. And without any further ado, at this time, here to present our first award of the evening, I'd like to introduce Happer Horsham School Board President, Mr. David Brown. We would like to, the school board would like to congratulate Alice Hill as our Champion of Learning Scholarship winner. Hall. 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 Did I say Hill? Alice, my apologies, is a natural born leader who is both self-directed and gifted academically. Very well-rounded student with a balance between academics, excelling while taking the most challenging curriculum at Happer Horsham, athletically as a three-year varsity basketball captain, and in clubs acting as a yearbook editor-in-chief and a red and black captain. Alice was an outstanding contributor to the school and community, and we wish her continued success as she furthers her academics at MIT. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Our next award will be presented by a family that is no stranger to Happer Horsham. I'd like to introduce, to represent the Edward Taylor Coombs Foundation Scholarship, Ms. Tina Coombs. Thank you all. I just want to give you um, a little background on the Edward Taylor Coombs Scholarship. It was established in 2011 after the death of my 19-year-old son, who was in a car accident five minutes from home. Um, in the past 11 years that we have started the Edward Taylor Coombs Foundation Scholarship, we have awarded over $850,000 in scholarships. <laughs> Tonight, we are awarding over $47,000 in scholarships, and I have to say that the Hatboro Horsham students were totally the cream of the crop. The scholarship committee had a very difficult time picking the awardees, and tonight we have seven. Okay. The first will go to J Justin Chung. Thank you. I have yeah, seven, okay. Christopher Jasper. I, I wanna, can you go down, because I want to make sure we take a picture together. I missed it last year. <laughs> Joanna Lee. Jason Selsley. Shreya Gorawala. Did I say that right? I did. Okay. <laughs> Madia Ahmed. And our last scholarship goes to Alice Hall. I want to thank you so much for applying for the scholarship. I know sometimes students are shy, and I want to applaud your bravery in putting forth your best efforts. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Combs. If you guys just hang out, hold on, hang out right there. They're going to take a picture for the, for the scholarship website.
Thank you again, Ms. Coombs. Our next award scholarship is the Sunday Morning Run Scholarship. Here to present, Mr. Michael Mikulski. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, the Sunday Morning Run Basketball Scholarships um, are, are generated from a group of guys uh, ages 22 to 64 that play basketball every Sunday morning at 7.30 at the high school. Um, it, is, it has been our, our uh, goal here every year to thank the, the school district um, and Dennis and Lou James and Denise for all the accommodation they've given to us over the years to be able to have access to the gym. So um, we award three $1,000 scholarships to uh, deserving Hapro Horseman seniors. Before I do that, I just want to take one moment and um, thank Lou James for all his help over the years. Lou is... I got thinking today about how long I've known Lou James, and he's going to laugh at this, I hope. Um, that uh, about, It's been about 20 years. My first time meeting Lou is I had the privilege of coaching his youngest son, Kevin, around seven or eight years old, playing Little League Baseball and with one of my sons. And uh, uh, I think it's why Kevin went on to be a tremendous wrestler and football player. <laughs> so, uh, so thank you, Lou, for everything. I appreciate it. So, um, without uh, any further delay, uh, when, you, when I call your name, if you, if you wouldn't mind coming up, that'd be great. The award winners are Zach Ham, <laughs> Sophia Liot, and Julie Riley. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Mr. Mikulski. Here to present the next scholarship, which is the Carolyn and Jeremy Kircher Scholarship, should be no stranger to most of us. Keith Valley Principal, Mr. Jonathan Kircher. Thanks, Dennis. So I'm so proud and honored to be here tonight to recognize and celebrate so many students uh, who are, are proud and I'm proud to have been part of your Happer Worsham journey. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of Keith Valley, congratulations this evening. So we have dual roles for me tonight though as part of Keith Valley principal but also as the Kircher family representative. So the Jeremy Kircher and Carolyn Kircher scholarship was created in memory of Jeremy T. Kircher Sr., a 1995 Happer Worsham graduate and in honor of my mom, Carolyn C. Kircher, a longtime kindergarten teacher at Crooked Bill at elementary school. Both were dedicated educators who sought to bring out the full potential of all the students whose lives that they touched. So this scholarship is awarded every year to a Hapro Horsham senior who attended Crooked Bill at elementary school and through his or her school career showed dignity, citizenship, respect, and kindness. So those are all the things that we exemplify at Keith Valley through what we call PACE, um, but also it's doing what is right when no one's watching. So on behalf of my brother and his sons, uh, Jeremy Thomas and Aiden Jackson, my mom and my dad and my family, we're honoring tonight Chris Jasper. Thank you, Mr. Kircher. Here to present our next scholarship, which is the Army ROTC Scholarship. Hey, just, Chris, just. Yeah. <laughs> Commanding Officer, Mr. Logan T. Hunter. Frankly, I don't even know why you sat down. Well, as he said, I am Captain Logan Hunter, the Commander of Army Recruiting for the City of Philadelphia. So, on behalf of the Commanding General of the United States Army Cadet Command and the Professor of Military Science from Penn State University, I'm here to present Mr. Christopher Jasper with a scholarship to Penn State in the amount of $112,000.
Thank you, <laughs> Commanding Officer Hunter. For those of you who are not aware, Chris has given out payday loans in the main lobby <laughs> after the ceremony this evening. Here to present the next award, which is the Marianne J. Kite Courageous Vision Scholarship. Hapro Horsham math teacher, Mr. Craig Kite and Bob Stasnius. Wow, we have to follow that. Uh, tonight, we honor Mary Ann's courage, uh, courageous spirit by recognizing three students who have shown great determination and optimism in the face of great challenges. It's been five years, but we all can still remember how Mary Ann overcame her, her struggles with elegance, grace, and a heartwarming smile. Really, you gotta make me choke up too. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just wanna say, my mom would have been proud of the three winners, uh, everyone who came through Simmons and everyone out there today and all the graduates. Um, she always talked about the students, you know, being so happy to hear about what they're doing, you know, with their lives as they, you know, continue to grow up. So congratulations to all of you. It's our pleasure to recognize Jenna Connor, Kelly Capuccio, and Christina Exton. Thank you so much, Mr. Kipe and Mr. Stasiunas. Our next award is the Horsham Hawks Award. Here to present, Mr. Mark Dillon. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, my name is Mark Dillon. I'm the current president of the Hatboro Horsham Hawks Football and Cheer Association here in town. As a lot of you know, the Horsham Hawks have been around since the 1960s, used to be known as the Horsham Huddlers back in the day. Uh, the Hawks have gone through so many ups and downs, but one thing's held true is that we've been a great place for kids to come and learn, cheer, and football. This year, we're giving out three scholarships to three really deserving athletes. Today, I have the honor to present these, but also this week, I had the honor to write my own letter of recommendation to my former football coach back in Ohio for the Hall of Fame. And as I was writing that and reading the three essays, it really made me think of how important youth sports are to this community and how important football and cheer can be to young people. And not only today, but well into the future. So I want to thank the community for all of their support that they've given the Hawks over the years through good times and bad. But most importantly, I'm here to represent my 10 fellow board members, the 400 kids that are playing spring flag football and the 100 kids that are coming out every year to play tackle football. I want to thank them. I'm here presenting on their behalf. I'd like to uh, recognize three athletes. Charlotte Schultz. <laughs> Mary Aid Madison. <laughs> and Connor Davis. So Charlotte was a cheerleader for the Hawks back in 2010. She cheered for three years, and then all through middle school and high school, and was ultimately the captain of the cheer team. She's somebody that the Hawks could be really proud of. She's the president of H HTV, a member of the National Honor Society, and a stellar student, and probably the best essay that I've read. And I work for Amazon, so I read a lot of essays every <laughs> single day. It was stellar. Um, congratulations, Charlotte. Mary Aid comes from a very long line of hawks. Papa hawk, mama hawk, baby hawks, she's been around for a really long time. Her mother was a past president and her father is a current board member. Uh, Mary Aid came to the fields begrudgingly to cheer on her older brother and became a cheerleader after that. 
Um, really want to thank you for all your service through working the snack stand and being a babysitter when all the other parents could cheer on their players. Thank you, Mary. Congratulations. Connor couldn't be with us tonight, but I also would be remiss if I didn't mention that his father, George, past president of the Hawks, um, he was dragged to the field as a kid and was there when they turned the lights on and when they turned the lights off. So uh, recognizing Connor in all of his achievements, uh, becoming the captain of the Horsham lacrosse team and being a vital member of the team. Uh, once a Hawk, always a Hawk. Congratulations to Connor. Thank you so much, Mr. Dillon. I'd now like to bring up Ms. Karen Roseman, who will present the Karen Newell Memorial Scholarship. Thank you. My name is Karen Roseman. I've been uh, teaching at Simmons Elementary for 29 years, and I'm very proud to uh, present this award in honor of Karen Newell. It's the Karen Newell Memorial Scholarship, which is awarded by the faculty at Simmons in memory of Mrs. Newell, who taught at Simmons from 1996 into 2015. One of her greatest joys was teaching. She looked forward to meeting her new class every year and creating a caring environment filled with joy and love. Mrs. Newell taught all of us that each person is special and has something special to contribute. Every child and adult can remember her by treating one another with patience and respect. Through her words, but more importantly, her actions, Mrs. Newell encouraged everyone to be kinder, more considerate, and more joyful. Our scholarship recipient this year knew Mrs. Newell and strives to exhibit similar traits. This student wishes to make an impact on others through sharing her passion of dance. She's pursuing a degree in dance to help bring joy and kindness into the world. This makes her an excellent choice to receive this award. Congratulations, Grace Kohler. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Ms. Roseman. Here to present our next award for students who went to Simmons, Ms. Karen Cantor, presenting the Simmons Home and School Award. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Um, as the principal of Simmons Elementary School, it's a pleasure each year to come back to see the students seven years after they left Simmons and hear about their journey and their next steps. We are always proud of you and always consider Mr. Williams and everyone here our neighbors since you're just right down the road. Unfortunately, not all of our winners were able to attend tonight, but each year the faculty of Simmons picks four students to win these scholarships and our Simmons Home and School Association um, is gracious enough to fund these scholarships year after year. I believe it's more than 20 years that they've provided this scholarship. So congratulations to Will Bruner, Lydia, Lydia Nolan, Austin Harrell, and Shreya Gorawala. Thank you, Ms. Cantor. Here to present the Brian Dilworth Memorial Scholarship, Erica Schwambeck and Kristen Thompson. Good evening. My name is Erica Schwambeck, and I am a teacher at Keith Valley Middle School. I am honored to be here tonight to present the third annual Brian Dilworth Memorial Scholarship. To honor his memory and legacy, Brian was my cousin, and I'm here with his wife, Kristen. A $1,000 scholarship will be awarded to a Hapro Horsham graduating senior that has been chosen by the high school music department. The recipient was chosen for displaying a passion for music, showing kindness and support to peers, and is college bound. 
I would like to introduce Kristen to talk about Brian's life and contributions to music because this scholarship represents a ripple effect in relation to how he helped others and truly left his mark. Thank you, Erica. It really is such an honor to be able to give this award. Brian was a remarkable person. He loved music. In fact, he built his entire career around it, first as a band member, and then as a record label owner, a tour manager, and most importantly, as a concert promoter, um, booking shows in some of Philadelphia's most heralded venues, starting at the Khyber and then TLA, the Electric Factory, now Franklin Music Hall, and the Mann Center for the Performing Arts. Brian also had hundreds of lifelong friends, many of whom he met in some way through a shared love of music, including me. I am so honored that we're able to support a scholarship for a student who demonstrates a similar love of music and the potential to build on that passion that is, was kindled here at Hatboro Horsham. This year, we are delighted to announce that the winner is J.J. Miller. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. Our next award is presented by our marching unit director, Mr. Bob Malloy, and he will present the Hatters for Music Award. Good evening. The Hatters for Music Award is awarded to two students uh, in the marching arts activity who have shown, um, excelled, and uh, pride on the field and in the floor. Uh, this year's winners are Mia Hausman and Brianna Wood. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Malloy. Next, I'd like to introduce president of the High School Home and School Association, Carolyn Kushner, to present the Hapro Horsham Home and School Council Awards. Good evening. On behalf of the Hapro Horsham Home and School Association and the scholarship committee, it is my honor to present eight students with a scholarship for $750 each. The Home and School Scholarship were made possible by the generous support of the Harper Horsham community for all of our fundraising projects. These supporters include parents, students, school administrators, teachers, support staff, as well as community organizations and local businesses. We could not do these scholarships without your support. We would also like to take the opportunity to wish the class of 2022 an incredible journey into the future. And we know that they will be more than prepared for all of life's challenges. Our first scholarship this year was a little bit of a different turn than the past couple of years. We usually just did an essay question, but the Home and School Association really is built on volunteerism and leadership. Without those skills, we would not exist. So we wanted to take the opportunity to honor a student that presented a high level of community service, not only to Harper Horsham, but the surrounding community, and also leadership within those organizations. So our first scholarship tonight for community service and leadership goes to Shayra, oh, Gorbal, sorry, thank you. I knew I was gonna mess that up, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Our final scholarships for our community essay question go to Christina Exton, Justin Chong, Christopher Jasper, Jenna Connor, Zachary Towerbridge, Allison Randa, and Alice Hall.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ms. Kushner. I'd now like to introduce Michael and Lori Ferris here to present the Joan Armstrong Memorial Scholarship. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Lori and I are here tonight representing uh, the Saving Lives Foundation. Uh, the Saving Lives Foundation is a local 100% volunteer driven charity that provides financial assistance to individuals and families that are struggling financially from the burdens of cancer treatment. We believe that no one should have to decide between their next chemo or radiation treatment and paying bills such as rent, mortgage, or daycare. We work closely with the Cancer Center case managers at Abington and Doylestown hospitals who identify and nominate patients to us that are in need of financial assistance. Seven years ago, the foundation made a decision to sponsor the Joan Armstrong Memorial Scholarship here at Hapro Horsham High School. The scholarship is named after Lori's mother, who was diagnosed with ovarian cancer when Lori was a junior in high school. The emotional impact on a high school student when faced with a parent or sibling experiencing cancer uh, is an experience that Lori knows firsthand. Because of this, the scholarship has become a priority for us. Including this year's recipients, we've committed $76,000 in scholarships to Hapro Horsham High School seniors over the seven years. Tonight, we're honored to award the Joan Armstrong Memorial Scholarship to two students who submitted essays and met with us for interviews. These scholarships are for $1,000 a year for four years. It's our pleasure tonight to award the two scholarships to Allison Randa and Kayla DeStefanis. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Farris, for your continued support. Thank you. Next, I'd like to bring up Mr. Brendan Mulligan, who will introduce the H. Hoops and Brian Byrne Memorial Scholarships, as well as the Mike Mulligan Memorial Scholarship. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening, HH community. Um, you know. I think I might be the youngest presenter here and, you know, hopefully can relate a little bit closer to you guys. I mean, awesome. Thank you so much for applying, being here. Um, definitely don't blink. Next four years of your life will be awesome and real world definitely is not as fun. So uh, <laughs> getting into it, uh, first presenting then the uh, Brian Burns scholarship um, associated with then H Hoops. Um, for those who are not aware of H Hoops, H Hoops is a nonprofit organization dedicated to providing a safe environment uh, for the boys and girls in our community so that they can enjoy and learn about the game of basketball. H Hoops is 54 years old and supporting grades 1 through 12 for boys and 1 through 8 for girls. We have approximately then 800 kids participating each year. I know it was very focal in uh, my maturation and growing up. Um, so with that, the Brian Byrne Scholarship has provided then over 65K to uh, graduate students of Hapro Horsham since its inception. This award is named after Brian, who was an HH grad and passed away, unfortunately, in 2002. Uh, I know the Burns family is um, integral in this community and have given back uh, since then. So uh, the winners of this year award are Justin Chong. <laughs> Cade Callie. Uh, Lydia Nolan, who I believe is not here. 
and Alice Hall. Perfect, and grab a picture. You're good, coming up. No worries. <laughs> Just wanted to grab a picture after. And then the second award uh, in honor of my late father then, the Michael J. Mulligan Award. Um, I will say, reading all these essays, um, thank you so much. Definitely can um, live vicariously through you guys with all the optimism. Um, so congrats on that. And the winners of this year award are Sam Fink. <laughs> Michael Lang. And the last one being the hardest, Ivan Kikiko. Kikiko. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Mulligan. Here to present the next two awards, 10th grade house principal, Ms. Sarah Berman. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the first award is the Fearless Athlete Award. The Fearless Athlete Award is sponsored by Caitlin Smith, a University of Maryland and 2014 Hatboro Horsham alum. This award honoring a student athlete recognizes the, who recognizes the importance of academics and athletics in a student's life. And this award goes to Alice Hall. For change. <laughs> you. Alice, you can sit on the end if you, if you want. <laughs> The next award is the Hatter's Love of the Game Award. Hatter's Soccer Excellence Award is sponsored by Ryan Smith, a 2012 HH soccer alum who went on to play four years at the University of Scranton. This award is given to the HH soccer player who best exemplifies team leadership, excellence on the field, and love of the game. And this award goes to Kelly Capuccio. All right, thank you, Ms. Berman. Our next two awards will be presented by two well-known rock star teachers at, at Hawa Elementary School, Tammy Aldridge and Eric Glemser. Thanks, Dennis. Um, this scholarship is awarded to two students that demonstrated academic excellence community service, and school involvement. These two students were role models while they attended Hollowell, and their essays reflected the true spirit of Hollowell. The Hollowell community wishes them continued success in all their endeavors. The recipients are Kendall Leitner and Sam Fink. The Hollowell Book Awards are being given to two distinguished students. Our first recipient's extracurricular activities 
include those that focus on food insecurity in our area. She plans a career helping others as a registered nurse and nurse practitioner. Our second recipient's athletic achievements and leadership earned him co-captain responsibilities for three high school teams. He plans to be either an on-air news professional or a history professor. The Hollowell community wishes them continued success in all their endeavors. The recipients are Riley Thornton and Zachary Ryan. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Savage and Mr. Glumser. Next, long, long, long time community member um, and gracious family, uh, I'd like to bring up Dr. Gregory Wilcox to present the Missy Wilcox Memorial Scholarship. Thanks, Dennis. It uh, doesn't make me feel too old the way you introduced me there. <laughs> Uh, before I present the award, uh, my son Zachary, who is one of the lacrosse coaches here at HH, wanted me to give a personal shout out to the graduating class of 2022. So congratulations to all of you from Zach. During her time here at HH, my daughter Missy played field hockey, she ran track, and she majored in art. The scholarship which bears her name is awarded to a graduating senior who shares her passion for art. It is a $2,000 award and was established by my brother Joe to honor Missy's memory. In her application essay, tonight's recipient said, HH Art focuses on how you can channel struggles into beauty. I know that Missy would agree with this powerful sentiment. So our family is very pleased to award the 2022 Melissa Wilcox Memorial Scholarship to Shreya Gurwala. Dr. Wilcox, thank you. Our next award will be presented by Chris and Christine Heffernan. Perfect. This is the Community Training and Career Scholarship. Thanks, Mr. Williams. The Community Training and Career Scholarship is designated for a student who has chosen a post-secondary path in community college, training, trade program, or starting their own business as an entrepreneur. Traditional four-year college does not always equal success, and therefore the scholarship highlights the importance of supporting students who think outside the box and recognize that not all success is derivative of a traditional path. From this student's career starting their freshman year at HHHS, they've gone above and beyond to work hard academically with a career goal to work in education. This student has interned at one of our elementary schools, assisted teachers in the classroom at the high school, and actively takes on leadership roles to help other students unprompted. The recipient this year has demonstrated determination, making sure they are set up for success at Montgomery County Community College. From the fall, they have been proactive in applying attending trips, and meeting with the appropriate staff to familiarize themselves with MCCC. This year's recipient of the Community Training and Career Scholarship is Haley Meal.
Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Heffernans. Thank you so much. Here to present the next award is one of my high school classmates. We graduated together, although she doesn't look it like I do. Um, Deirdre Diener, here to present the Lisa Marie Diener Memorial Scholarship. It's been a long time. Been a long time. It is an absolute pleasure and honor to present this scholarship to two outstanding women who have made an impact such that when I read the essays and my mother read the essays and the others that uh, determined these two winners, we literally thought we were reading about Lisa. My sister was one that was tenacious, passionate, spirited about not only academics and what she did in school, but outside in the community. These two women completely mirror the passion, spirit, and tenacity that my sister had. National Honor Society, leadership positions, extracurricular activities, but they didn't stop there. They don't stop there. There, were, there was information in their essays about humanity, grace, about looking at people as individuals and helping to uplift them and not stopping beyond that. It is my honor to award $2,750 to two individuals each. The first one is Alexis Goddard. And the second individual is Morgan Long. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Deidre. I'd now like to bring up Mr. Todd Kahn to present the Horsham Little League Scholarships. As a 1997 graduate of Happer Horsham and a college and high school graduate of with Lisa Diener, I can tell you what an amazing woman she was. Um, so Horsham Little League Scholarship Award congratulates four individuals tonight. Um, we recognize them for their academic success, community involvement, and Little League participation. The executive board of Horsham Little League has chosen to award a $500 scholarship to each of these individuals for the 2021-22 academic year. Your selection from among many applicants for this scholarship is a reflection of your hard work and commitment to being a good student, as well as your continued involvement in the Horsham Little League organization and the Horsham community. For the eight executive board members, the 400 and plus um, boys and girls who play softball and baseball for Horsham Little League, I would like to say congratulations to our four winners. First one is Ivan Kakiko. Megan Mills, Kendall Leitner, and William Bruner. Thank you so much, Todd. I'd like to bring up Mayor of Hapro, Mr. Tim Schultz, who will present the W.K. Bray Lodge Scholarship. Thank you. Each school year, the members of Bray Lodge and Hapro vote on a scholarship 
uh, given to a young man or young woman who has exemplified extraordinary community service benefiting the public. Today, I am honored to present the $1,000 scholarship award to a young man who has exceeded our expectations in all categories of exceptional public service. Congratulations goes to Chris Jasper. Thank you, Mayor Schultz. Next, to present the Knights of Columbus Scholarship, Mr. John Lyon. Thank you, Commissioner Williams. Good evening, everybody. It's certainly a pleasure to be here tonight. We're honored to be here and, and give this scholarship. Uh, my name is John Lyon. I'm a member of the Knights of Columbus here in Horsham at the St. Catharines of Siena Church, and it's my pleasure uh, to be part of the Knights of Columbus, which is over two million members of the Knights of Columbus uh, and over 15,000 councils, and we're just one of them here. And we are the largest fraternal group in existence of uh, Catholic men. And as Knights, we serve our parish and our community while working each day to create a better world through our principles of charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. And tonight, it's my distinct pleasure uh, to announce and congratulate this year's winner, Ivan Kakiko. Thank you so much, Mr. Lyon. Here to present our next two awards, I'd like to bring up Mr. Gary Pagliaro, who will present the Happer Horsham Alumni Association Scholarship as well as the Loretta Worthington Scholarship. Hey, congratulations to all the seniors here tonight. Uh, this is really something special to see. The Alumni Association was created in 1989 by Jim Worthington, a 1974 Happer Horsham grad. These past 33 years, the Alumni Association has awarded over 200 scholarships to deserving students. Jim apologizes, he, he really wanted to be here tonight, especially this year, because um, he, he has a relationship and he recognized a, a lot of the families and a lot of the recipients. The Alumni Association is giving away four scholarships this year for $2,500. And I can tell you, the four recipients, the, their applications were simply off the charts. So I'd like uh, Grace Kohler, Morgan Long, Charlotte Schwartz, and Caitlin Tapper. Please come up. The second award is the Loretta Worthington Community Scholarship Award. Um, Mrs. Worthington, who I knew, she was a, a woman that uh, just loved, loved cooking, and she also volunteered many, many years in the Horsham Little League snack stand and the Horsham Huddler snack stand. And uh, in her will, she wanted to make sure that she gave a scholarship each year for $2,000 to a student that was going to continue 
uh, a career in the culinary arts. And this year's winner is Christina Dehe Young. Thank you, Mr. Pagliara. Well-known face around the high school here, social studies teacher, Mr. Dennis Steinle, Jr., who will present the Dennis Steinle Senior Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Williams. Uh, this is a great night. It's good to see um, people receiving awards and, and smiles and, and applause and, and all the good stuff. So uh, it's, it's great the com community comes together and supports education uh, like this. And um, the award I'm, go I'm giving tonight uh, is in honor of my father, who was a longtime teacher and coach uh, at the Happer Horsham School District and um, passed away four years ago. And uh, it was just an, an abundance overwhelming abundance of, of uh, goodwill and, and charity and, and contributions from uh, alumni, family, friends, um, to, that, that enabled us to, to put this scholarship together and it, it came quickly and uh, it's just nice that we're able to continue this. Um, I have the pleasure of, of uh, you know, driving into school every day uh, driving past the stadium um, with a you know a memory of my father uh, right there, and it's uh, you know it's just it, it's I, I feel blessed to to have that uh, that opportunity, um, and it's um, you now we just like sharing and, and giving back to the the district that uh, yeah you know, my father gave so much of his his uh, life and career to. And uh, again, the the, uh, the applicants for the uh, for this award were uh, outstanding. Um, my sister was uh, was was amazed at at the at the essay she was reading. Uh, so we do appreciate the effort and and you know the time that you put into uh, to the application process. And uh, when we decided on uh, the recipient. Um, I wanted to get some information uh, about her, and you know, just to make sure that she was, uh, you know, credible, credible winner. I didn't want to just give away the award to anyone, so I was crawling around trying to find some information, and and you know, just couldn't find any, any net. Nobody was willing to say anything bad about this uh, <laughs> this applicant, and uh, I'm sure there was there's uh, you know. A dentist somewhere in her past where you know she forgot to floss her teeth um, once or twice, but uh, I, I couldn't find anything, um, and, and I'm, I couldn't be happier uh, to give this um, scholarship to an amazing individual, a uh, great person uh, headed to Penn State University, uh, Paige Cole. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Steinley. Here to present our next award, and she'll do the next few awards, 12th grade house principal, Ms. Angela Whalen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. The first award I, I am presenting tonight is the Spikes Legacy Scholarship. The Spikes Legacy Scholarship is in honor of the late Kristen Frommel, who is coach and math teacher, uh, Mr. Frommel, his wife to honor her legacy and to honor the commitment of Coach DJ Frommel. 
Kristen embodied the idea of teamwork, caring deeply about people around her, making sure everyone was invited and included. This scholarship goes to athletes who are among the best teammates on the team. Unfortunately, this recipient is not here. However, the winner of the Spikes Legacy is Austin Hurrell. So congratulations to Austin. <laughs> The next award is the J.N. Sponsler Track and Field Scholarship. This is a scholarship that will be awarded to a male or female track team member who demonstrated dedication to track and field having completed at least two years. Commitment as measured by the athlete's attendance to, pr to practice and competition and the support shown toward the team throughout the year. It must display good sportsmanship, demonstrate leadership, and unquestionable integrity. The two recipients of the JN Sponsor Award goes to Christopher Jasper and Jason Selsley. The next award this evening is the Hapar Horsham Education Association Award. Each year, the Hapar Horsham Education Association awards scholarships to graduating children of union members. As educators, we often refer to our students as our kids, but these are quite literally our kids. This year, there are two scholarship awards. They go to Sarah Bazoma and Sophia Liat. Thank you, Ms. Whalen. The next three awards will be announced and introduced by, again, Ms. Sarah Berman. Uh, the first award is for the uh, HHEA Marianne Raspin Scholarship. This is in memory of a former Hapro Horsham teacher awarded to an exceptional student who is pursuing a degree in education. And this year's winner is Catherine Boyle. The next award is the Ian Gilbert Memorial Scholarship Award. This award is a memory of Ian Gilbert. It is awarded to a well-rounded student who demonstrates interest in science and is pursuing a degree in the field. The student should have an opening and inquiring mind and show initiative and enthusiasm for their chosen subject area. And this year's award goes to Zachary Hamm. The next award is a big one. It's a Pay It Forward Award. The Pay It Forward Award was created by an anonymous community member who wants to help graduating seniors attain the dream of attending college. It is her hope that her donation will make a difference in the lives of students working hard to reach their potential. 
The guidance counselors here selected the following 2022 winners based on the hope that they will continue to make the world a better place. This is a very long list, so I'm gonna ask if you can hold your applause until I get to the end, and students, you can just come on up when you hear your name. Ready? Okay. Matthew Barty, Juliana Boland, Faith Bukafuri, Rachel Carnival, Hannah Chan, Logan Fisher, Thomas Halko, Marco Isabella, Christina Jung, Gavin Lynch, Mia Modzalewski, Travis Parliament, Anna Riches, Abigail Rosing, Tyler Rosen, Zachary Ryan, Harrison Schultz, Jaden Vanderberg, and Juliana Wombold. Congratulations. Hold on, hold on one second before you guys before you guys take your seat, before you take your seat, once you get your award, I just want the crowd to, to have a real clear understanding of something. So about six years ago, I had um, a woman come to my office. She knocked on my window. It was after school. It was around 3, 30, 4 o'clock. She knocked on my window of my office, um, and she asked if she could speak with me. She had no kids come through Happer Horsham School District. She just lived in the community. Um, and what she said was she really loved what we do as a community, how we get engaged, how we get involved. So she handed me a check for $25,000. And she said, I want you to make sure that you give this money to kids so that they can continue to do the same thing. In 2018, I'm in my office again. She knocked on my, on my window. I came around and opened it up and she gave me a check for $75,000. That's where this money comes from. So it's individuals like that who appreciate what we do, who value what we bring as a school, who appreciate what all of you do as students and community members and community service and service learning that make a difference. Thank you. So if anybody wants to drop off any more money, I'm usually here to around four. Just knock on, just knock on the window. Here to present our next scholarship, back up again, Mayor Tim Schultz, to present the Greater Hatboro Chamber of Commerce, the Bud Aiken Award. Thank you, Dennis. So my friend and mentor, uh, John Bud Aiken, was instrumental in forming and leading the Greater Hatboro Chamber of commerce for decades. Bud influenced and helped many, many young people, business owners, and community leaders get their start. The Bud Aiken Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a young person who dreams that big things can happen with a single step forward. So Zachary Glauser, take a step forward and collect your money. Congratulations and thank you, Mayor Schultz. Next, I'd like to introduce another longtime supporter of Senior Awards Night and Hapro Horsham programs. Dr. Jonathan Rich is here to present the Hapro Rotary Club Award. Congratulations again to the class of 2022 and your parents and families. Here are award two awards tonight. The first is our VoTech scholarship, which goes to someone with outstanding achievement at the Eastern School of Arts and Technology. This person has shown great determination and persistence in times of hardship. We like to award this award to someone who is going on to use what they have learned 
either in business or uh, in the community in their chosen field. I am very proud to present this award for $500 to Gavin Lynch. Our next award is our academic award, which goes to someone who has shown outstanding achievement in academics, leadership, as well as great character and fortitude. This award is a very competitive award. We have a committee of six people that look through Lots of applications. We whittle it down to five people that we interview for 15 minutes each. This year, all of the candidates were quite outstanding. And I would say that I would have been happy to award the scholarship to any of them. But one really stood out. We like to give this award to someone with all those great accomplishments who is often under-recognized. I say without a doubt that this person has shown great achievements in leadership, great character, outstanding academic performance. And while indeed they have been recognized, as you will know their name, they, she may indeed still be under-recognized. And I knew how to pronounce her name until I heard the six other people before me pronounce it. But I am pleased to give this award to Shreya Garawal. And this is an award, if I didn't say, $1,500 a year renewable for four years for a total of $6,000. Dr. Riches, thank you as always. Here to present the Horsham Rotary Club Award, Dr. Karen Lefkowitz. Good evening. I'm the chair of the scholarship committee for the Rotary Club of Horsham, and it's my honor to be here tonight. Congratulations to all of the graduating seniors, their families, and all the faculty members that have been involved in their successes. At Rotary, we are an international service club with the purpose of bringing together business and professional leaders to provide humanitarian services, both locally and globally. Locally, you may recognize us as contributors to Hat Packs, Harmony Theater, the St. Vincent de Paul Food Bank, and we're also the founders of Everybody's Playground. With that self-promotion out of the way, let me say that I'm thrilled to be here today awarding five scholarships to some graduating seniors who embody our motto of service above self and also make us feel incredibly lazy with all of the activities and good deeds that they do. So I'll be awarding scholarships in the amount of $1,500 each. And the winners are Madia Ahmed, <laughs> Jenna Connor, Ivan Kakiko, Martina Kernosh, and Zachary Trowbridge. Congratulations. Congratulations, and thank you, Dr. Lefkowitz. <laughs> Ms. Angela Whalen will present the Ambler Area Running Club. The Ambler Area Running Club is awarding, 
a cross country or track athlete whose dedication, enthusiasm, and achievements have, have represented the best aspects of the sport of running. Runners must have competed for at least two years and demonstrated seriousness of purpose as a student, an athlete, and an overall good school citizen. The Ambler Running Club is awarding two $500 awards to Aiden Scattergood and Martine Royds. Congratulations. The George Emig Memorial Scholarship. Here to present that award is Kate Hennisco. My name is Kate Hennisco, and I'm here to present the George Emig Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the Hapro Horsham Aquatic Association, also known as HA. George Emig, better known as Skip, began swimming for the Best First Swim Club in Philadelphia when he was 11 years old. He moved to Horsham in 1964 and finished third in the Mid-Atlantic in the 100 Brushstroke in 1965. He was one of the founders of HA in the early 80s. Skip was a high school PIAA official for more than 30 years, and he was also the father of Kip Emig, head coach of the Hapro Horsham High School state champion swim team. Each year, HA awards a scholarship to the two swimmers who demonstrate Skip's love and commitment to the sport of swimming through their participation, dedication, and leadership with our club. I'm the parent of two Ha swimmers. My daughter has been swimming with, for Ha for nine years and will be heading here to the high school to join the high school swim team in the fall. And my son is in kindergarten having just completed his first year with Ha. Both of our winners have been leaders on the team and amazing role models for our younger swimmers. I can say with certainty that both of my own children as well as many others on the team have benefited from their leadership and example, both on and off the pool deck. I've actually known both of our winners since they were 10 and unders, and it has truly been a privilege watching them grow up. They're both incredible young women, as well as state champions. I will genuinely miss both of them next year as long-term members of our team and exceptional role models for my own children and all of Hawk. I'm very pleased to present the George M. Ake Memorial Scholarships to Sarah Bozomo and Hannah Parker. Thank you again and congratulations. At this time, I'd like to bring up Elder Moon and Elder Simon Shim, who will present the Young Sang Presbyterian Church Scholarship. Thank you. Congratulations to all the seniors receiving scholarships this evening. My name is Simon Shim, and I'm the chairperson of the scholarship, com scholarship committee at our church, and he is the vice, vice chairperson. Uh, Elder Harry Moon. He will be the next chairperson for next two years, so I won't be here next year. This is, today is my last day to present our scholarship, so I'm so sad. <laughs> uh, Yongsheng Scholarship uh, was fo uh, founded uh, back in 20, 2016 uh, by Yongsheng Presbyterian Church on Whitmore Road in Horsham, uh, and present uh, our scholarship to Hepper Horsham High School uh, since 2019. Uh, uh, through this scholarship, we hope that our church in Hepper Horsham High School uh, can work together to make a, Horsh a better Horsham uh, community. Uh, tonight, uh, we are so honored to present our $1,000 scholarship this year to Alexis Goddard. Congratulations.
Congratulations, and thank you so much, Elder Moon and Elder Shim. I'd now like to bring up Junior Vice Commander Bob Hartnett and the Doherty family to present the VFW Post 9788 James R. Doherty Military Scholarship. Good evening. On behalf of the Horsham VFW Post 9788 and the Doherty family, it is my distinct pleasure to award the James R. Doherty Military Scholarship. Jim was part of the Army Air Corps. He served in World War II in Korea and has been part of the VFW for more than 40 years. From 2004 to 2005, Jim served as commander of our Horsham Post. In our community, Jim was involved with the Hapro Horsham School Board and was very active with the district. He coached in the Horsham Little League for many years and served on the Horsham Township Council for years in the 80s and into the 90s. For all his years of service in the district and community, the VFW and the military, we couldn't think of a better person to represent this scholarship. Jim and his wife have raised three kids, three children, James R. Doherty Jr., Cheryl, and Sharon. This scholarship will be awarded to a graduating senior of the Happer Horsham High School who is committed and entering a branch of the U.S. military following graduation. Our VFW Post believes it's important to recognize the students who will leave our community and school district to go on to defend the freedoms of the United States of America. It is my distinct pleasure, along with the Doherty family, to award the James R. Doherty Military Scholarship to Christopher Jasper. Thank you, Commander Hartnett and the Doherty family. Thank you so much. Next, here to present our HHTV scholarship, Amanda Trevel. Hello, my name is Amanda Trevel, and I'm the co-advisor of the HHTV. Um, HHTV hands out a scholarship every so often to a student that has outstanding qualities and is pursuing a career in the TV slash film field. When a student comes along that demonstrates our GRILL acronym, HHTV will award an outstanding student who exhibits all of the following qualities. G for growth, show progression and knowledge, understanding and execution of the television or film projects. R for responsibility, be reliable by showing up on time and performing their job at a high level. I for initiative, perform tasks to help the production without being told to. L for leadership, take ownership of a TV or film production and see it through until its completion no matter what the obstacles are. And L for listening, the ability to listen and, in and hear instructions before, during, and after a production. And the scholarship goes to Charlie Schultz. <laughs> and Charlie is receiving this award because she exhibits all these qualities and more. She was a critical part of HHTV and well deserving of this award. Charlie is attending Temple University and majoring in media studies and productions with a minor in film. Also, she is our club president, our HHTV intern, student producer of Under the Hat, our news magazine show director and film creator, whose film won an award this year for best storytelling based on a true story. HHTV is pleased to announce the HHTV scholarship of $500 being awarded to Charlie Schultz. <laughs> and she is still doing one more production with us even after she graduates. <laughs> Good job, Charlie. Congratulations, thank you, Ms. Trevo. I'd now like to bring up our athletic director and director of extracurricular activities, who this is his final 
Senior Awards Night. Round of applause for Mr. Lou James. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I will be awarding the next three scholarships. The first scholarship is the Horsham Soccer Association Scholarship. It's awarded to one male and one female high school senior who has participated in Horsham Soccer Program for a minimum of four consecutive years, including the age 16 or above. They must apply the grant to a two or four year accredited program of higher education. Those two recipients are Sophia Liot and Aidan Scattergood, who is not here this evening. The next award is the Ann M. Frangipani Memorial Scholarship. It's awarded to a student whose life or life of a family member has been impacted by a chronic illness, must be seeking higher education after graduation. M Ann M. Frangipani Memorial Scholarship is named after the late community mother, wife, nurse, and volunteer. It allows Ann to keep giving to the community that she so loved, even though she is no longer with us. It is given each year to a graduating Hepper Horsham student who have the most, have been most affected by a medical illness, either them directly or because of the illness of a family member. Tonight's award goes to Jenna Connor. The next award is the Penny Pack Elementary School Scholarship. The award is given to an outstanding alumni of Penny Pack Elementary who has been active in school activities and good school citizens. Two awards this evening, they're going to Kayla Spink and Olivia Wilson. And our, <laughs> if, you've, if you've been at Senior Awards Nights previously, our next guest really doesn't need much introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway. Mr. Kwon Kim, who will be here to present <laughs> Sawmill Cleaners and also the Korean American Soccer Association. Sawmill Cleaners Scholarship goes to each year to a member of a marching band graduating seniors. Its recipients are chosen by marching band director, Mr. Malloy. So Mr. Malloy picked the winner, and I get to pay the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of odd setup, but I'm kind of used to that. Last 35 years, I was married to my wife. I was never involved in any decision making, <laughs> but I had to pay everything. <laughs> so this year, Mr. Malloy had picked Adrian Donato.
CASA stands for Korean American Soccer Association. I am not a member of CASA, <laughs> and I do not play soccer. <laughs> However, every year they ask me to make this presentation, and I don't know what their problem is. <laughs> Maybe they think that I'm Korean, <laughs> or I might look like Korean. <laughs> but nonetheless, the money goes to school, then school suggests the winner, and uh, usually Mr. Dennis Williams suggests who the recipient is. And this year's winner is Christina Bender. Something tells me he's not done. Are you? Are you done? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This, this is what I mean when I, when I talk about um, community partners and having... Sh I first met this man when I was 14 years old um, as, a, as a freshman here at Harper Horsham High School. Um, and he has been a part of this school district for decades and continues to give back and continues to work as hard as possible for this community. Thank, Thank you. you. Here's Ms. Angela Whalen again to present the Horsham Police Scholarship. The Horsham Township Police Benevolent Association chooses several graduating seniors every year who demonstrate their desire to use their education for public good. Usually they only choose two recipients, however this year uh, the submissions were so impressive they are going with four. <clears throat> The police department's primary goal is to work towards the betterment of the public and these four recipients showed their dedication to the public good as well. The Horsham Township Benev Police Benevolent Association Award goes to Alexis Goddard, Allison Randa, Justin Chong, and Ivan Kakiko. <laughs> There is actually another part to this award as well, the Milford Fund recipient. So the Horsham Township Police Benevolent Association, that's a tongue twister there, um, has an endowment to support children of current and former Horsham police officers with college expenses. This year, there are three graduating seniors, one of which attends, attends, excuse me, <laughs> attends Happer Horsham High School. We are honored to present Sarah Bazoma as a recipient of the fund as she graduates and starts her post-secondary career. gonna keep going here I got another one the next award is the Lenny Donnelly Memorial Scholarship this is awarded to a senior who has at least two years of varsity participation with Hatters Ice Hockey with the Hatters Ice Hockey program must be a four-year accredited program that they are attending this award goes to Benjamin Lerner
Thank you. This next award, the Kahn Family Scholarships. This is an award that was created by Hatter alumni, the Kahn family, based on merit to well-rounded, highly motivated students who will use this aid to further their education. There are three winners this evening. Samantha Sinkowitz, Emily Thomas, and Raina Varma. The next award is the Lions District 14 Charitable Foundation Scholarship. This award is open to students who have had issues with sight, hearing impaired or physically challenged, or who associate and help and assist in those areas. Bucks County, Montgomery County, Delaware, and Philadelphia counties. Those are all parts of Lions District 14A. And this year's Charitable Foundation Scholarship winner, Sarah Schmann. Our next scholarship is the George Brote Memorial Scholarship. This is awarded to a senior who best exemplifies a love of sports who shows leadership quality and who plans to attend an institution of higher learning to pursue that passion. And this year's George Broke Memorial Scholarship winner, Marissa Rapino. Next, I'd like to introduce oh. <laughs> Ms. Whale, who will take the next few scholarships. The American Civil War Charitable Trust Union Library Award will go to a child or grandchild of a member of the Union Library Civil War Roundtable, or Hapar Horsham Sr. This award goes to Abigail Keegan. The next award is the Neighbors of Hapro Scholarship. This is awarded to two students who are pursuing a career in medicine or a medical related field. The award goes to Caitlin Tapper and Joanne Lee. Here to present our next awards, Mr. Lou James. This award is a Hatber Horsham Athletic and Co-Curricular Scholarship. It's given to normally a male and female athlete or co-curricular person. These two individuals, one male, one female, not only excelled on our athletic fields, but excelled in our building. We're very proud, and I'm very proud to present 
two awards, one to Marissa Rapino and Hunter Long. Hunter, you may as well come back up here. No sense sitting down. This year, our Senior Athletic Leadership Award goes to Hunter Long. <laughs> Hunter has been more than a leader on the field. He's been a leader, obviously, as I said before, in our building. I'm very proud to give him this award. Next is a Hamper Horsham Red and Black Scholarships. Black Generals, Cole Fisher, Alice Hall. Red Generals, Sophia Leot and Lydia Nolan. Thank you, Mr. James. We're down to our final three awards. It's my pleasure to read and introduce the, Uni the University of Pittsburgh, Dr. Clifford E. and Virginia Halen Newbeck Scholarship. They were unable to be with us this evening, but again, longtime supporters almost 20 years of providing support to Hapro Horsham students. This particular scholarship goes to a female student who will attend the University of Pittsburgh, ranks in the top 20% of the class, and is interested in pursuing scientific curriculum with an emphasis in either chemistry or biology. The Newbecks are proud to present this scholarship to Bryn Roth Blackman. Congratulations. This next scholarship is a Hatter Pride scholarship. It was created to recognize students who are considered game changers. Some may be noticeable and loud and out there and always involved. Others demonstrate Hatter Pride in a quiet, reserved, but committed way. This award serves to recognize students who have been involved and committed, serving the community, taking great pride in our clubs, activities, sports, and engaging to promote the whole school community support. This year, there are five scholarship winners. I ask that you hold your applause while I read the names. Alyssa Jackson, Justin Chong, Morgan Long, J.J. Miller, and Matt O'Donnell.
and our final award of the evening. This is the Hapro Horsham Administrators Association Leadership Award. Each year, school district administrators, that includes superintendent, assistant superintendent, directors of, of facilities and special education, student services, and also high school, elementary, and middle school administrators. We contribute to a scholarship to recognize one or more high school students that represent the mission, the vision, and the beliefs of the Hapro Horsham School District. So I am honored to represent the almost 30 administrators in our district. And I can tell you that the money that they, that they have contributed is going to two fine students. I know one is not here with us this evening. One winner is Talia Newman, and the second, Sarah Brifo. I would, I would just like to say thank you to the Hapro and Horsham community representatives who presented awards here this evening. It's the unwavering support of these individuals and the organizations that they represent that has allowed us to recognize 83 seniors this evening and to give out, if we take out Chris's $112,000, Outside of that, this community has given out over $108,000 this evening. <laughs> Students, I hope that sitting here this evening you recognize and understand how special a moment this truly is. As you wind down your high school career, what you've done doesn't go unnoticed. Parents and guardians, some of you have been on cruise control. You haven't really had to worry about motivating your high schooler. But we know that some of you have yelled, screamed, threatened, and punished over the years. And sometimes maybe you thought it wasn't sinking in. No matter which method you used, it worked. They're here. The common theme is your support, your support of their efforts. It's played a key role in a recognition here tonight. To all of our students here this evening, the next four days will fly by. Those days will be full of tears, both joy and sadness. This is a time that as much as you want to, you can't recreate and you can't recapture. 96 hours from now, you'll be Hapro Horsham High School graduates. And your time at HH will have concluded. Sounds real when you say 96 hours, doesn't it? For all of our seniors, we have some unfinished business. Our first graduation practice is tomorrow, 8.30. Make sure you're here. Make sure you're here on time. We'll celebrate the first graduation practice with the senior bash. But most importantly, for those of you that are in the audience this evening, it is my hope that you're able to join me, the administrative team, and 375 of the best damn graduates in the state of Pennsylvania on the 13th at 6.30 p.m. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for supporting us. We look forward to seeing you on Monday. Please be safe. Have a great day.